<laughs> Good morning, it's Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy. Today is, I can't remember, it's like uh, June 17th, 2021. It's uh, Thursday. Uh, the Reno Rodeo is going on right now. So anyhow, we've got this Dell view. Um, it won't turn on. So I wanted to show you what's going on here. Oh, let's see here. Let's turn this thing down so you can see it. All right. So, where are we? Right here. This little fella. Right here. Mm-hmm. So, she won't power on. Um, it's the original charger. It's a Dell charger, 45 watts, or 24 watts, I think. Yeah, 24 watts. And uh, I tried a different um, power connector just to make sure it wasn't that. And uh, so the moral of the story is his pin number's there. Um, so just press that button, take this apart, and uh, you basically just have to pull this open. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to take my fingernails here and see if I can get this thing open. There we go. There. Just take your fingernails and pop this thing open. There you go. Alright, so anyhow, when you look at this thing, um, there's a power connector here. That's for the CMOS battery. Just pull that. I, um, I'm going to pull this. That's done. This thing just pops up. So just take your finger and pop that up. So anyhow, won't fire up, won't turn on. Um, so anyhow, the moral of the story is, how do you get this thing to fire back up? Um, it, I mean, it's a nice laptop. I mean, it really is. It really is a nice laptop. But the problem is, is um, other people on the community boards for Dell had the same problem. And uh, my first suggestion is, is with most tablets, most laptops, um, this is a Dell View 11. Is it Dell View 11? Can't tell. It's got an external keyboard. Um, anyhow, yeah, there's the, what do you call it? There's the make and model number. You gotta look really closely. These guys who do this stuff um, make it really hard to read. But yeah, it's right here on the bottom. Right here on the bottom. So, moral of the story is um, I um, let this drain overnight. I left it unhinged, unconnected. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this back together here. Um, let the let the board drain. A lot of people said it was logic board. Some other people said it was something else. Um, moral of the story is, is you want to try other things. You try to fire this up with um, out. Um, what is that? That thing is being a pain in the butt. Let's get this thing in. There. Just pop that in. Pop that back on. So the, the trick that I learned was, um, and I'm just going to show you this, you hold down the volume down and you hold down the power button, same time. And when you do this, we should get a diagnostic screen here. One, there it goes. Okay, by holding down the power button, and the down volume, you will get this diagnostic screen, okay? So the moral of the story is, is you're like thinking, well, what's happening? So just let it sit there for a few, okay? Hope that makes sense. Just let it sit there and uh, let it finish. And uh, I'll show you a little secret here. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but when it runs through this screen diagnostic, um, I was like, well, good. It won't power on. It won't boot. It won't do anything. But it'll do this. And I thought to myself, well, isn't that weird? So, I mean, it's, it has nothing to do with the keyboard. It has nothing to do with this device. Um, yeah, nothing like that. It was just, it's just weird. So, anyhow, is this going to finish? It's got fingerprints all over it. Let's see if it finishes. Yep. Well, we've got a Dell logo now. Before it was nothing. 
Oh, here it is. Yeah, so here's here's what you get. Um, that is what you get, okay? When you do that diagnostic, I mean, when nothing else runs, I mean, when you go to Powered On, it, it doesn't boot, but you'll feel a vibration. But you get nothing. So I was like, okay, usually on a tablet, you'll hold down like the volume down and the power on at the same time to reset the BIOS. Or, like in this case, there was a CMOS battery right here. And then the battery here. And I'm like, well, one of these two, I mean, the logic board can't be bad. So moral of the story is I went ahead and said, okay, let's just let the diagnostic run and see what happens afterwards. Well, what happened was, is I came back five, 10 minutes later, this was up. So I was like, oh, cool. So I'm just gonna put this into the docking station like this. And when I put that into the docking station, and I'll just zoom in here so you guys can see this, but um, I just went ahead and pressed the, uh, uh, what is it? F2 to go into setup options. So I pulled down the function key and press F2. So when that happened, I got this. This is cool, all right? So I was like, all right, cool, all right, we're making progress, at least we got a post. So then the first thing I did is I came down here and I didn't care about anything else. I just said, just load defaults. Now I had, I had already done this before, so I wanted to record this and show you what I did. And uh, the boot sequence did actually have um, the drive, so I'm just gonna pray exit and it says Windows Manager. Now at this point, um, it fired up and uh, before, I didn't get a, a charge light over here above the uh, power button, um, but now I do. So that's the cool thing. So moral of the story is uh, it works. Yeah, see, before this Dell 11 View Pro 7140 wouldn't do anything. It was Dez doornail. I tried everything for like an hour or two. Um, you know, thinking, was it the screen? You know, what was it? So I watched the video and it showed how easy it is just to pop this off, this back panel. So once I popped that off, um, it came up. So, cool. Anyhow, the uh, moral of the story is uh, that's what you did. That's what I did. So just hold down the power button, or the volume down and the power button. Um, I let the board drain overnight and then I you know, like most times you just hold down the power button for like 30 seconds with everything unplugged and it should drain everything. So the CMOS battery, CMOS battery, um, laptop battery, run the diagnostic. If you get a flashing screen, let it finish. Okay. If it lets it finish, then I think for the most part, um, you can plug everything back in and go for it. Okay. So it just went to sleep. So Anyhow, I'm going to post this and uh, go from there. So, cool stuff. Anyhow, this gentleman here, he's a writer. He works at the university. Um, yeah, it just died on him. So, so Tony's going to get his uh, tablet laptop back in uh, working order, and I just learned a new trick. So, anyhow, um, hope that helps. You know, um, one of the things about computers is you just, you just don't know. You just don't know what what you're gonna run into so all I can tell you is Dell your community boards were okay um, all I can tell you is uh, uh, what nothing other than uh, try and troubleshoot as best you can so anyhow this is Andy from Mountain Computers the go green PC tune-up guy be sure to like subscribe and share it's hot out is about 95 or 97 degrees yesterday here in Reno and uh, there'll be more to come thanks bye-bye